back up by the Brands Hatch crew, and now the restart in the same order, of course, as they finished. And this time, Herbert does not make a good start. Foytek makes a good start. Johnny Herbert made a thoroughly bad start there, catches wheels with Foytek. It's Martini in second place. Herbert is up to third place. Foytek is in fourth place. Donnelly leads, who did have a brake problem that first part of the race. A slightly depleted field into and out of Druids the hairpin. Diving down. Briard well up there as well. There is Blandell. But Donnelly with a significant lead. And Foytek right behind, right on the tail of Johnny Herbert, who in turn is looking down Martini's exhaust pipes. Volker Weidler there has his problems trying to sort out David Hunt along the straight. Close together, and there's a tremendous accident. Herbert, Wojtek, Griard, and so many cars, I cannot see just how many people are involved in that. But it is virtually the whole of the field behind the first three. A huge impact there with Wojtek touching Johnny Herbert as already the red flags are out, and Martin Donnelly returns here to the start. Let's see this again in replay. Full speed, yes, a touch between those two. They were ploughed into by Olivier Griard, and that's Gary Evans there having a huge accident all on his own. The spinning red car that you saw coming down there was Andy Wallace in slow motion. You'll see that touch. They both hit the bridge parapet. Nowhere for Griard to go. Mark Blundell somehow misses it all. Foytek's car rolls down the barrier there. The driver does not actually hit the armco cars everywhere johnny herbert hit by not one but several cars there and here is the scene following the accident with foytek receiving minor injuries briard in fact briefly trapped in the car but okay except for bruising but unfortunately johnny herbert sustaining two dislocated ankles some broken bones in his foot which are going to keep him out of racing for quite a long time Griard's car, there is Herbert's car, the front cut off to release the driver. A huge frontal impact as the cars are brought in and an enormous amount of tidying. Foytek's car, not a wheel on it, all but totally destroyed. And Gregor Foytek...